Hey, well, hey, welcome back to the Robin's Nest. My name is Tammy. Um, I'm here tonight to uh, strain out my willow bark, my white willow bark. I started it about four weeks ago, and it is a nice dark brown which from what I understand that's what it's supposed to be like so um, we'll just go ahead and get this done I got a 100% cotton white cloth a strainer and a bowl I'm just going to take it and pour it right in. Ooh, it looks like coffee. Now this is a white willow bark. I had uh, read that this will uh, take care of headaches that uh, infused in 100 proof alcohol it's the same as aspirin I'm just going to set that aside and get this strained out I am going to wear a glove to squeeze this out um, I'm not advising anybody to do this. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. I'm just trying for myself to come up with other things besides pharmaceuticals or over-the-counter meds. I will try this myself and see if it helps with my pain that I have I have a well I just did a video on it you can always go back and and look at that um, I think it's titled I'm so excited for this extract okay I got that all squeezed out I'm set that right here so in that video I did say that I would try it on camera and I will I'll uh, not in this until tomorrow but I don't want to take any this evening because I've already taken my dose of the uh, pain reliever that I'm trying to get off of so I'll hold this video until in the morning when I take the uh, be able to take this and I'll let you all know if it works or not but I'm hoping it works because I was told I have been told by two different doctors and I'm damaging my liver by eating as much of those pain relievers that I do because I do take a lot of them. So for that quart jar, I got probably five, five and a half cups. So I'm going to use this bottle and I have sterilized it with... Uh, vodka because that's a food grade alcohol and let's see if how much of this will fit in here this is a bottle that I purchased purchased online
Anyway, while I'm doing this, how was your Christmas? This is uh, Wednesday after Christmas. We had a good Christmas. Whoops. Overfilled it. Whoops. Yep. We had a really good Christmas. My kids came down. Some of my kids came down. I was missing my son and daughter-in-law and granddaughter. But they never come down because they have other family that they go to. So... But we had a good Christmas. I did, instead of ham, turkey, i got to pour some of this back out. Instead of ham and turkey, like I always do, Thanksgiving and Christmas, I thought, well, you know, I'm tired of it being a month. Uh, only a month in between. So... I ended up doing all of my kids' favorites. Um, I did chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, one son likes chick my chicken enchiladas, so I did those. And I did, I had some turkey left over that I put in the freezer. So I did turkey, turkey and noodles, and then I did stuffed jalapenos, and a copycat olive garden salad, and we had vegetables, and we had a fruit tray, and so we had a good Christmas, enjoyed it, enjoyed the company, and so... I normally, when I get something bottled and it's done, I normally put a pretty label on it, but I ran out. So, I have marked it with a masking tape until I can get to the store, probably tomorrow or this weekend. And I did label it aspirin, white willow bark with 100 proof vodka. The date that I bottled it into this bottle and the measurements I did a fourth a quart of the bark and covered it with the hunter proof vodka so this is my medicine I still have oh about a three-fourths of a cup left in this so I will get one of my um, I've got an eight ounce bottle like this. I'll put it in it and I'll use it and to, uh, carry in my purse and stuff like that. I'm hoping this works. Uh, right now I'm working and researching on herbs that I can use, uh, to get a healthy liver again that will support and bring it back to where it needs to be so anyway i'm glad you're here please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so and i will see you later bye